the tool I'm going to share today is Formative, which is a well-known assessment tool. Uh, it's not quite like some of the gamified tools. Uh, it's more of a serious assessment tool, so we use it for a lot of testing. But it also has a new AI feature uh, for creating practice, which is really important. So we're going to take a look and see how it works. So here's a quick look at what the inside, uh, the teacher version of a typical formative assessment looks like. You have the name, uh, you have the different grades, you have, this is where you would add any instructions uh, for the teacher, just notes for yourself and for students, uh, in, this is where you would change the background. So I started off with an image. This is a quick exit ticket about chapter uh, two, I think, of my book. Uh, so I have a free response question and you have lots of options here in terms of question types that's one of the the benefits of this um so video responses true false multiple selections inline choices hot text some of these are fun um and really different and it's nice to give a big range of options so i have a free response then you could change where the points are you could also have people uh show word count use rubric uh and that really helps when you're actually going to be grading you could add hints um and uh, if it aligns to standards, you could actually select the standard sets. Uh, so the second one's a short answer. Uh, the third one is a multiple selection tool. Um, and uh, the fourth one is a drawing, uh, where you're actually drawing out uh, your uh, perfect world makerspace. Um, and uh, number five is a true or false. So part of the reason I did this is also just to show uh, a variation. So each one was just one point, and you could assign it to a class. Um, so you could also take a look at the summary of how people do. Um, and you get data. That's one of the benefits of any of these type of programs. Uh, but really what I want to show you today is the practice. So this is a new thing that we have early access to here in Smithtown. Um, so you could manually create it, uh, of course, just like anything else. You could import it from uh, Google Spreadsheet, something like that. You could browse sets that are already done. Uh, these are other tier sets. So you just look for any subject. Um, so I was doing some stuff with language and you could have it right there. Um, and uh, you get AI generated. So I could have AI create uh, what I'm looking for. So I could write, you know, I will do Spanish um, numbers one through 20. Um, and AI will actually just create a practice set for students. So, you know, practice is really important. Um, this really helps um, uh, students quite a big deal uh, when they're able to uh, practice on their own uh, and using the AI tools to generate it makes it really, really easy. So uh, there you go. One is Uno, and these are just like flip cards. Um, so it works really well. So I would just name this. Um, so Spanish 1 through 20. And then you can assign them uh, to your class, uh, right? So we can preview it and see what it's going to look like uh, for students. I really like the match. Um, this is uh, one that's a little bit more fun and and what's nice about all of these is that when you go to formative, uh, you're able to actually go to the library and see um, stuff that everyone else created, including, you know, in New York, we have former regents. Uh, so you have all of the regents that are up there. Uh, they have all of these different tests um, that people created. Uh, so any kind of uh, state tests um, and things like that are already there. Uh, so you don't have to do the work yourself. Um, and it looks like uh, my friend Scott Azar has created a number of one of these. So um, you're able to use the library of things that are already there. You could share them as a team um, in schools uh, and in districts. So that's a quick look. Um, and it's exciting because uh, Formative actually just recently merged with Newzella. Uh, some people say News ELA. Um, and I'm kind of excited to see what that merger uh, turns into and how it might help both of these brands. So